it feels like if I don't do any special effects or any kind of like groovy or funky or <laughs> outstanding intro, I seem to get more views. So I'm just going to kick things to basics. Maybe it's my super, super superstition. Can I say that word? I do have some reading later on, but I've already recorded it. Thank God for that. And welcome along to the channel. My name is James, and let's hop into it straight away with the levels. No messing around today. Now, for those people new to the channel, the Free Gorges is in China. It's on the Yangtze River. It's the biggest hydroelectric controversial dam in the world. And it was built in a bad way. And this is why I do topics about it. If you just joined, welcome to the channel. Let's have a look at the levels. Chongqing is up at the top of this today. Sorry, all in Chinese. Chongqing is 600 kilometers away from the Free Gorges, 171.95. And the Free Gorge is at the bottom today, and you can just see there it's gone down at 171.86, which is nothing out of the normal this time of year. And a quick weather update for you in the People's Republic of China, and it looks like this. Can't see the temperatures, but it is pretty cold unless you go down to the southern bit. It's a little bit of rain just over the north of the Yangtze over the next couple of days and one or two millimetres over the Free Gorges and the peaks and the mountains around there, then slowly dispersing it in many directions, but mainly to the southwest. I'm also including the snow in China today, and you can see uh, what it's like there as well. And the snow looks like this. You could imagine, of course, in the northern part of China the and Russia, you can just make the borders and Mongolia, the Siberian, in Siberia. Bitter cold, lots of snow, heavy, heavy snow, normal this time of year. To the west of the picture, you have Tibet and snow there, and that's your snow forecast. Now, going into the topic today, cultural survival of the Free Gorges, the Free Gorges project. And we have covered this a little bit before, but this is in a bit more detail. China's Free Gorges project, whose damn business is it? And we're going into not just some international experts with this, but some also some Chinese experts about dams. It's quite interesting. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, put on your earphones. I hope no English teachers are listening because it's time for my infamous or infamous, as the Free Amigo said, that was Steve Martin and the guys. My reading time. Here we go. The weight of the Free Gorges Reservoir could trigger an earthquake in an area that has very high seismic activity, according to the chairman of the Chinese Committee of Large Dams. An estimated 80 species of fish could be wiped out as a result of the dam's reservoir upstream. Downstream, wetland habitat disrupted by the project could endanger both wildlife and fish populations. The sturgeon, the Yangtze sturgeon, is already on the endangered list. Experts at the Tennessee Valley Authority and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers have suggested that a series of five or six smaller dams along the Yangtze River could be better matched energy demand with supply, allow for a more efficient system of waterway locks and avoid the need for massive resettlement of rural people. China could also implement more cost-efficient projects to improve the efficiency of industrial and commercial energy use. At present, China is making no move in that direction. 
Okay, a quick update on the mugs for sale, $15 a pop, and all the money goes to, all the profits go to charity, of course, and this is not me getting any cash in my back pocket or anything, it's just something to help the children in this country, and for those who don't know, I live in Cambodia in Southeast Asia, and I've sold two so far. Just two. Uh, so that makes it about 70 to go. And it would be the ideal Christmas gift for your loved ones. You could even wind up your husband and say, this very handsome character is my boyfriend here, or my online boyfriend. Ha, ha, ha. And I was actually just wondering, <laughs> if you get your picture on a mug or a cup, does that mean you've made it? Does that mean you're famous? Does that mean your superstar. I'm sure Vin Diesel or Dwayne Johnson or Jason Strassen or uh, for sure Mickey Mouse has got their picture on a mug. Look, look here. Winnie the Pooh has one. So it must make me famous. Food for thought. As today is Thursday, the 9th of December 2021, just under two weeks or just over two weeks before the big day, you can sort of see, if I go down here, you can actually see, excuse my legs, some of my really bad um, Christmas wrapping presents. These actually are both from Tokyo the Cat. He told me to go and buy these. The big one is for Sophie and myself. And the top one is from Tokyo to me, which is actually really nice of our very, very clever cat. Um, what I'm doing on my channel is a lot of Christmassy things. And if you just go down to my playlist every day, it, because it's Advent at the moment, every day I'm playing a Christmas song. And there's also a couple of um, Christmas long play you could say uh, music, which you can find again on my playlist of music or the playlist of Christmas. Do check it out. And if you are having some Christmas parties, this would be ideal. What you say? Ideal background music for your party. You can download it. There's no copyright on it at all, and you can just put it onto your music player or whatever from YouTube. Just get a YouTube um, download or whatever. They're all free, and then you can have it wherever you go. You don't have to have it on the channel, but it's all free to do, and it's all free to download. Today, for example, I made a three-hour one up for you. I think there is more advertising than there is about the free gorgeous dam, but that is about it for me for today. Thank you for your time. Should be back tomorrow. And something else coming up on my channel that I want to do, which is about mainland China, I may start to produce it this afternoon, is about China's democracy. How, how democracy really works. And I'm just doing some research at the moment, and we'll just show you that it's just another porky pie little lie from the CCP, because they're not invited to the democracy summit, and the country of Taiwan is. Ha 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 ha. That's quite a witty kind of thing that the USA have done. Good job. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Cheerio. Cheers.